Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort an array in C sharp. I'm going to show you how to sort in ascending as well as descending order. I have created console application. Let's start with integer array. I will remove this line and I'll declare integer array. This is our integer array. To sort an array, we are going to make use of sort method from array class. I'll show you how to use that. Before sorting this array, I'll print all the array elements. I'm using for each loop and I'm iterating through this array and I'm printing each item. Now we are going to sort array in ascending order. We are calling this sort method and we are passing array. If you look at the definition of this array, this is a static method from array class. That is the reason we are referring to the class name and then we are calling this method. Now we are going to print it again. Let's run our application and see if it is working or not. Click on this green arrow. See, the sort method has sorted array in ascending order. This is before sorting and here we have a result after sorting. To reverse an array in descending order, we will use reverse method. Array dot, we will call reverse method and we will pass this array. Job of this method is to reverse the sequence of elements. This is not actually sorting array in descending order. This is reversing array which is already sorted in ascending order. Let's see whether it is working or not. This has printed array in descending order. There are many ways to achieve this. I have showed you one of the simplest ways. Now instead of this integer array, we can test with string array. I will declare one more array, string array. In both of these for each loops, I'll change int array to string array. Even to the sort method, I'm passing string array. Let's test now. Sort method has sorted our array in ascending order. To sort this array in descending order, we have we are going to, again we are going to use reverse method and we will pass this string array. Let's test it again. This time we have it in descending order. I have just shown you the basic way to sort an array. You can play with this program the way you want. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video.